Here we are, back again. <laughs> Just spotted something I want to put in down here. These lines, these little fluffy bits coming down here, they need a bit of black in those, I think. So we've got the red in. Now we're just going to go, I've already marked them out. Just very lightly with the black. Then it mats them out nicely for when we want to do the blonde. looking at these shapes and I'm not looking at them as hairs at all just looking at the shapes clumps of hair and how they where they end so this is ending right over here look so that's that so that's ending just the other side of that like that and then that goes in. That's one clump actually, isn't it there? Then the top clump is... That's that clump there. The top clump is further over. It ends here, just the other side of this. So it's coming out here. It's kind of that shape actually. Bottom. It's coming here. It is quite dark here, so you can get that patch in there. and dark more so here it's a bit darker there so get it in don't don't be afraid get the dark marks in then be able to fill them around with the blonde this we just go over that like that because we're going to bring all those lip light little hairs over here like that and this well we just need to fill that in a bit don't we it's far too thick yeah that's it See, this is shorter than this. I'll take that up a bit and fill that in. I'll just look better while we're drawing, I think. really dark. I'm 
get all the hairs over that. this I just got it. not into the hairdressers. You know, you, if, once you start really making up dog or cat's hair, they can often look like they've just come out of the hairdressers, which is, is really not the desired effect, is it? We don't want our dogs looking like they've just come out of the hairdressers, a human hairdressers. So just be aware of that. Just copy what you see. You copy what you see, simplify it, but then copy what you see, be fine. Now this is, see that's coming across like that, that angle, then the angle, then down and across. You've got a light hair coming in there and then this is coming round and it's all streaky there. Then this is going up here, let's see. Now, um, you get the lines coming from here, straight across here. Now that is coming out to that dark area that we just done. So straight down like that. And slightly like that. And across. Then we've got underneath this bit here. Coming under that there, it's that here, and then across. And that's got a nice black tip on it. That's it. I think that's okay for now. You can maybe just do a bit more on this. another triangle. So if you do this with hair, you, you'll be able to do it. Just look at the shapes, one bit at a time. I've got another patch in there that's quite strong. That's a strong line. Got a patch there.
lights on the face here now. You can put the dark lines through the blonde after. So it's, it's quite there really. This also looks a bit of a mess. We can do that later. We can do that last actually. We'll just concentrate on this. We'll do the ear now. So we're going to get the the darkest bits in. Now they're not right on the edge, the darkest bits. They're really kind of just around the black and little streaks. That's that's one of the darker bits. We'll get that bit in straight away, I think. Nice and easy to see. And but right, yeah, so orangey. Make sure I've got the right colour. It's the right colour. Let's check it. A little bit of black in there too. is where that black is coming down there. It's kind of coming down a little shape. We've got the black line there and it kind of goes up to it like that. And then we've got the dark shape there. That's it. Now that leaves black in it really. up. It comes up to meet this bit there and then comes out here again. Now these kind of disappear into a grey, grey look but these are black. And it lovely over the aqua colour we put in. Um, yeah, here I've got a nice dark Has come come out. We'll put some grey in there. The hairs are coming out, out and up actually. And we've got some hairs that come out just here. Sharpen up the pencil, still the same. You can do it all with a pencil like this. See? Um, I think if you're using pastel matte, 
you don't have to make such an issue of sharpening your pencils and everything. Look how easy it is. Extreme light touch. You don't have to get them coming out from the head. You can do some out here. Just get the feel of the, the shaggy hair. It's very dark there. Make sure if you see any really dark areas, get those in. Because they're, they're really strong then. You've got the dark hair through here. That's quite dark. And it's going up like that. Yeah, that's his ear. That, his ear is starting here. So I've got that. His ear is here. And I've got a little bit of... See that little line there? That's That's got to be there. Don't quite know what it is, but it's, it's got, it looks like it's got to be there. in before you can do the back over that, otherwise it'll spoil it. Right, so we've got the dark areas in here, already done on that. They could be darker now, because they're in the right place. And we've got, got to get that light line in there, then it's dark. Just about there. Some nice lighter bits coming through there, but we could put them in over the top. That's Let me get the other colours in here, but we'll, we'll mix them together because it's quite dusky under there. Just get the back on for a start. Looking at the direction of the hairs, coming like that. Um, let's come in like that. It's not especially neat, see? That's just a little joined up. make it especially neat. Looking at shapes. See, I'm looking at where this comes to. It's got a round line. There's only a little space there. So we've got to make sure that we've got that bit there. And then these come across here like that and down. And that gives us our little space there, see? That's it. not quite the right shape, but we could put some blue over that. Comes out here. And then kind of coming up like that.
Oh dear, I've got a bit of brown leaves here. I think I might have to put a bit more green on it. <laughs> All right. I won't make you watch that. It's okay. Poor things. Sit through that background. Salvage. Needs more doing to it, but oh, don't worry. You won't have to endure that. It's only a sliver, but I'm afraid it needs to be there. Yeah, it's only a sliver. But yeah, it's gotta be it's gotta be there. It's just this bit here. In fact I might just try and blend it over with a bit with a blender. Should we try that? Let's have a look. Make sure it's clean. Be enough actually. That'd probably be enough. And I'll put some darker green in there. And it goes back here as well. the colour shaper in case you haven't seen this before he's wonderful wonderful just like painting just a paintbrush okay we'll get off the background now don't worry <laughs> poor things Finish off getting the black into place here. And I think by the time we've done this, it's probably going to be another half an hour up. stronger there, I think. Oh yes. Okay, so this is right. Making sure these are in the right direction. Because we're going to get some lovely grey in there, grey blues. These need to be right. There. We could smudge that over actually, because that'll that'll really help. That'll really help us.
these in my hand. Don't really need them in my hand. Let's get so used to holding pencils. You don't forget what you're doing really when you're drawing. Everything else is like, well, you know, you're not in there. You're not in your hands. You're, you're here. carefully where the hairline's uh, directions are. Yeah, be very careful with this hair. Lovely sheens to put in here, lovely shine to put in the top.
most of the black hairs in. So we're going to go for the over so that's kind of going up and I think I noticed and I was looking at this this isn't quite right this line here needs to go up a bit further up a bit straighter and then it's got to come in a bit let's see the lines coming off the air just Well, the way it's curved, it's hardly curved, so I'm just going to do a straight, straight line. Right, let's just see how that looks. This is far too wide here, so I'm going to bring the black out of it. See that area there? It's just, you need the black out to make that more narrow there. Then it'll look right. Strawberry blonde bit to go in there. That's that bit there. I'll lighten, darken that up a bit. Just a little bit. Just put a little hint of red in here because it's very dark. Still haven't found an easel. I need to go and look in, in the shops. Did have a quick look yesterday, but they aren't going to do the trick for me. Because often when you're up using an easel, you're painting. There's no pressure when you're painting, unless you go like that. Um, with a pencil, of course, sometimes you are. Even this is very light pressure. But you t look at the way the board moves.
not to fill the whole thing up because we can use this these white streaks in it you know, we could use that color uh, if if we wanted to fill it in we can use the the color as a guide you know we can so we, we've got now the orangey color and we can use those colors as a guide where we put the orange on it really look vibrant because you've got nothing underneath it. If we put this over the red, it would blend it like we've been doing all along. But we want to get a nice hairy look here. And we'll need to put blonde on, on the end here. This is dark on this side, so we're going to, what we're going to do is we'll put less orange in and more of the dark red. So we are covering over the red now. But we've still got some white patches where we could put the orange on. And the orange goes under here. When it goes on this white, see it's nice and vibrant. Really does look a uh, good colour. Maybe put a bit more, put a, a bit of green in there. Going over the red to make it the colour it is on there. now because I think we've probably gone over time. I'm not sure. Just guessing really. We'll guess work. Okay. <laughs> okay, finished for today. Done quite a lot today. I'll just get back a bit so my face isn't so big in the camera. Um so yes. Thanks for your patience and uh watching. Uh on to the next one, on to the next video tomorrow, I think. Try and get as much as I can done this next day and a bit. Um, I have to go away for a while. So I'm trying to get a few videos together so that I can post them on the next week. And uh, certainly even maybe tomorrow. We'll see, see how it goes. Okay. I'm very, ex very excited to see them coming together at last. I'm sure you are. Yeah, I wonder if it's so sweet. Okay. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Bye then. See you tomorrow.